My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson, as always, on these special occasions for commentary. We're getting close to kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It's Fiorentina up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, what a final this should be. Both these sides have played some great football to get here. I just hope we see them at their best today. This should be a great game. And a look at the lineup for Fiorentina. the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Tino Keira in central defence. Declan Rice starts alongside Tomas Socek in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. West Ham recovering possession. Lucas Paqueta. Nicolas Gonzalez. And it's with Amrabat. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And well, they've given him too much space. Paqueta teammates in the middle well thumped clear and a bad pass it was excellent vision Sofian Amrabat takes the shot oh yes first to score in this final and it could be highly significant Here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So West Ham get us moving again. And a swift response required after the setback. Brekalo. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Lucas Paqueta. Can he find the net? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Dodo. A 
chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved the yellow card Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Cristiano Biraghi. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Antonin Barak. Well, it could be on for him here. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Brecalo. And the referee says corner kick. Over it comes. And he made the catch under pressure. Said Ben Rama. Lucas Paqueta. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Paqueta, Gianluca Scamacca. Well, very effective play in possession. And the cross into the middle. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Nicolas Gonzalez. Bonaventura with it. Ricardo Sotil. Well, tremendous block. Jared Bowen he's given it straight to the opposition Nicolas Gonzalez and Fiorentina have it back now Given away. Rice. Now with Paqueta. It's a perfect challenge. Cristiano Biraghi. Ricardo Sotil. Barak has it. Possession one. Promising looking attack. That's really good and effective physical play. He has time to play it over. Under pressure. Well, decent save there. Keen to take it short here. Pumps clear. 
Gives it a go. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Who's going to get on the end of it? A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So moving once more, and West Ham make no mistake, right back in this contest now. So check. Declan Rice. What can the Hammers do from this position? In position. Oh, right in the nick of time. Bonaventura Nicolas Gonzalez and it's with Brecalo here nicely cut out Lucas Paqueta Said Benrama we've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes this is looking threatening Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. And so it is, the first half story has been rated. And they kick off here. So off and running again, and there was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second? Brecalo. High quality defending. Benrama. Cresswell with it. Paqueta. And he read it well. Bonaventura. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Gianluca Scamacca. So far. Well, he's given us away. Sotil. Antonin Barak. Jared Bowen. So check. Now with Paqueta. Back to Paqueta. Really nice ball. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. 
Went in strongly, decisively. Paqueta. Press well. And space to cross it. Can he finish? In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And then just look at this finish, Derek. He does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into road Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Determined defending. Not much time to make up his mind. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Disappointing pass. Promising looking attack from West Ham. Can they square the game? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And deciding to go short with this one. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Can he convert? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Paqueta. Tomasz Sociek. Paqueta. Real chance. And how about that for a save? Antonin Barak. Nicolas Gonzalez. Return to Bonaventura. Can he give them the lead? to give them the lead in the final the stuff that dreams are made of well here it is again the through ball is absolutely inch perfect and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal we might well learn a lot about West Ham and their attitude and the aftermath of that conceded goal And Lucas Kamaka. They could pick out a teammate. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And they will make the change now. Antonin Barak. Sotil. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Brekelo, an alert piece of defending. Ings. He's got space. A chance to whip it in. For Mouths, well, flinging himself at it. Short corner taken, and a decent delivery. And problem solved for now. Ricardo Sotil. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Aaron Cresswell. Rice. Is it going to be Danny? 
quite simply an opportunity wasted easy for the keeper Recalo Sotil Castrovilli he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack and West Ham being afforded too much space here Let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And then through on goal and just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, you don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. And we've entered the final five minutes. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? Time for a change then. And now the delivery. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. his job defensively counter attacking very much an option good pressure to regain possession Antonio Rice throw in for West Ham Antonio must take the lead here Well, here's the replay. It all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. I don't see an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Antonin Barak losing possession here. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win, 
Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.